Good morning, this is Marcus Brown bringing today's market update. Yesterday saw Prime Minister Theresa May deliver her speech outlining some of the key objectives for Britain's negotiations to leave the EU. May took a strong stance against the European Union, highlighting her aim to leave the single market and warned Brussels that she would walk away from negotiations if the EU looks to damage the UK by obstructing a free trade deal. The city remained cautious about May's comments, but confidence was bolstered by the Prime Minister's clear rhetoric to make Britain a nation that will embrace free trade on a wider scale. It is feared that certain European nations would look to make an example of Britain in order to deter any other country from choosing to leave the European Union. Yet May delivered a stark warning that she would fall back onto WTO rules if needs be stating that no deal is better than a bad deal for Britain. In a speech that clearly highlighted the government's desire for a hard Brexit, there were some softer edges to be seen, including a vote in Parliament for the final deal and a promise for a transition period for the economy. The World Economic Forum is also partaking in a series of discussions this week in Davos, Switzerland, where global trade will form a key agenda throughout the summit. With highly protectionist President-elect Donald Trump beginning his term on Friday, the forum couldn't have come at a more relevant time. Even before taking office, Trump has been exchanging a war of words with China regarding trade, and yesterday Chinese President Xi Jinping delivered a robust speech in defense of globalization. Xi set out the benefits of globalization while stating that it was a natural process as the world economy developed and no individual country or person was responsible for it. The Chinese president then sought to challenge protectionist ideals and described the practice as locking oneself in a dark room, clearly attacking the incoming president's foreign policy. In other news, Deutsche Bank has finally settled its fine with the US Department of Justice in an agreement that will see the German lender pay out $7.2 billion over misleading investors in sales of mortgage-backed securities before the financial crisis. In corporate news, Burberry reports its latest financial figures today after profits plummeted in half-year results. Goldman Sachs is predicted to announce a double-digit slide in full-year revenues in its earnings today. J.D. Weatherspoon also has a trading update today. In upcoming data, 8 o'clock sees U.S. Federal Reserve Janet Yellen give her speech. Thank you for listening.